this is probably going to be my favorite top five weapon video I've made in a long time. And the reason for this is because we got the five weapons that I use the most in the game. So like the MP5, M4A1, P90. Like, dude, you guys are going to see the weapons we got on this list. The classes I've made for these weapons are probably my favorite ones as well. And they will bring you guys results. These classes are actually super good. So you guys should definitely start using these. These are the top five, probably my favorite classes in the entire game man i'm gonna share these with you guys enjoy them use them abuse them and do what you got to do with them let's get into it what is up guys my name is nick and welcome back to another top five modern warfare overpowered guns video like i said earlier man this is gonna be the best one but before we get into it guys if we could drop a like on this video we're gonna set the goal at 2500 likes 2500 likes if we could smash through that that would be amazing guys subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with those notifications turned on we're almost at 625,000 subscribers which is a pretty insane number and that means we're only a quarter of the way to 700k from 600 so if we could do that that would be amazing and let me know down in the comments below your favorite weapon in the game that isn't already an overpowered gun so something that's not the mp5 or the m4a1 or the mp7 give me a gun that you guys use a lot that you don't see other people using and i'll try to make an amazing class out of those guns as well but let's get into it man and the first one we got on this list i have to do it i've shared this class with you guys before which is why i'm doing it first right away get it over with it's literally my favorite class in the entire game and that is for the mp5 and i've made a lot of mp5 classes but this is the one that really stands out because this one has fast ads time this one shoots at a good distance and it's really good up close you're gonna get those long shots you're gonna get those close range shots and it doesn't look like a class that does good at all distances but it really is so the first thing you want to throw on this one is the barrel fss mini this gives you ads speed and it gives you movement speed taking away some bullet velocity and recoil control which is really nice because you want that ads speed and you definitely want that movement speed and the recoil control you don't notice that you lost that whatsoever the stock is going to be the f tac collapsible again you want more movement speed you want more ads speed you are losing aiming stability which you guys already know me man that is useless i don't care about you losing that unless it's on a sniper and you also lose some recoil control but like i said the recoil control on this gun very nice you don't have to worry about that again the under barrel is the commando foregrip for that recoil stabilization and you get that useless aiming stability with it as well but the recoil coil stabilization is really nice because it takes away the horizontal kick of this gun so it's pretty nice to have the ammunition is the 45 round mags that is the max ammo you could get on the mp5 now you do get more ammo but i still don't feel like it's enough i wish we had 60 for this gun and the rear grip is going to be the stipple the grip tape to give you guys even more ads speed and sprint to fire speed so this class is really nice like i told you guys this gun is really good at long range really good at mid range really good at close range and it doesn't feel like it is like when you look at the class it looks like a very small weapon but it still does good in all those ranges up next we got the p90 and the reason i want to talk about the p90 is because i feel like this is probably the most slept on smg in the entire game the p90 could be like absolutely insane it has very very little recoil it does really good but i feel like sometimes i the reason some people might not use it is because it feels like it takes a few more bullets to kill people which yes it does but it also shoots out pretty fast as well so i wouldn't worry about it too much use it and start getting used to it and you guys are going to notice it's actually a really really good gun and definitely slept on so the best class that i made for this one and i like this one a lot is the barrel fss 10.6 inch pro this gives you you damage range and it gives you bullet velocity it's a nice one to have it's great for mid-range but i wouldn't recommend using this class at long range i definitely wouldn't use it there the laser is going to be the tack laser obviously you want to aim down sights faster and you also get aim walking steadiness and aim stability the only negative to this is the fact that your laser is visible and like i've been saying for a long time now i like it when my laser is visible i like when the enemies know where i'm at so i can actually go ahead and easily take them out now the actual stock is going to be the fly strap and the reason we're running the fly strap is because it gives you sprint to fire speed and it gives you aim walking movement speed so this is actually a really nice stock to run you get that sprint to fire speed meaning you could shoot people really fast after sprinting but you also get aim walking movement speed so you could aim down sights and move left to right and make yourself a harder target to hit so that's really nice to have the under barrel is going to be the stippled grip tape for that recoil control and aiming stability and the rear grip again is going to be stippled grip tape as the under barrel is for that ads speed but what i really like about this one is we get a second sprint to fire speed on this gun right here so 
once you're sprinting, the second you start shooting, this gun is really, really fast. Now, the next gun on this list, again, is one of my favorites, and this is actually an assault rifle, which is the M4A1. Now, I wanted to throw the M13 on the list as well, but you guys are going to see what I did instead at the number 5 spot. I thought it was actually worth throwing in a gun that I don't normally make classes on for the number 5 spot, but we'll get to that when we get to that. The M4A1, the barrel you want to use is the FSS 11.5 inch Commando, and I will tell you guys, this class is made for close to mid range. It's it's decent at long range because it is an assault rifle, but it's not meant for long range. It's meant anywhere I would say 75 meters and closer, and you will shred people. So the FSS 11.5 inch Commando gives you ADS speed and movement speed. It takes away recoil control and it takes away bullet velocity, and that's one of the reasons I don't recommend going for long range with this one. The laser is going to be the attack laser again. You guys know what that does: ADS, aim stability, and aim walking steadiness. Really nice to have. The stock is going to be the Forge Attack CQS. This gives you ADS speed. That is it. It only helps you aim down sights faster, but it only takes away aiming stability, which is a little useless on assault rifles. So I feel like that's really good. You get ADS speed and you don't really lose much, to be honest. So it's really nice to have that. The ammunition is the 60 round mags. Thank God we got to run something more than 45 because, uh, yeah, 45 would not be nice on the M4A1. So 60 round mags, more ammo, more fun, more kills. You get to pay the bills. Now, uh, you do lose ADS speed and movement speed, but it's, come on, yeah, like, you gotta, you gotta sacrifice something to get more ammo. You can't just get it for free. The rear grip, obviously, stippled grip tape. I think every class besides one of them is gonna have stippled grip tape on the rear grip. This gives you ADS speed, and it gives you sprint to fire speed. Like, what more do you want, bro? It's like, come on, but you do lose recoil control, which sucks, but... Yeah, and anyway. moving on to the next gun on this list at the number four spot, we got the MP7. Now, this class is going to look a little strange to some of you. When you see the class, you might be like, oh, that's not going to do that good, bro. It looks like the ADS is kind of trash. I mean, it looks kind of awkward and stuff. You might think that, but you got to actually use this gun. Like, you guys are watching the gameplay in the background for this one. It is, it's a shredding machine. Like, even when I was playing this game, you guys could see it. This is yesterday's video. Go watch it. Amazing video, amazing plays and stuff. I got called a hacker so many times. But even just playing with this class, this is one of my first games actually testing out this gun. And even I was in such shock at how good this class was. So definitely run it, guys. Trust me, definitely run it. Get used to it. It does take a few games to get used to this one, but it's nice to have. So the muzzle is the monolithic suppressor. So you get sound suppression, meaning this gun is even going to drop people in warzone and you get damage range like that's that's a nice nice switch right there you get sound suppression and damage range that's pretty cool because mostly in call of duty games if you get sound suppression you lose damage range so this one's really nice to have now the barrel gives you fss recon this gives you again extra damage range bullet velocity and recoil control and the mp7 is one of those guns where you don't need recoil control but it's nice to have because it does have a little kick to it the under barrel is the merc foregrip best recoil control in the game right there and he gives you hip fire accuracy and the hip fire accuracy on this one is pretty dirty like it's nice dude the ammunition is the 60 round mags again i wish i was able to switch this out for the mp5 the mp7 is one of those guns where i feel like i'd rather have 45 than 60 and i'd rather have 60 on the mp5 but you got to do what you got to do now the rear grip is going to be stippled grip tape i already told you guys like three times this video you know what it does i don't have to repeat it but i will anyways it gives you ads and spurt to fire speed i said it fast let's move on to the final weapon on this class and this is this is weird I, this is a sniper class and it's the sniper that i've been using mostly lately so normally i use the car 98k or whatever and it's fun but i get a bunch of hit markers then i use the ax50 and it's fun again but i get hit markers when i'm not expecting a hit marker and it kind of pisses me off but now we got the hdr and i kind of made a class that's good it's like really good at long range it's really good for quick scoping as well. Like you would think the HDR is a slow quick scoper, but this one, this one's pretty dirty. So the muzzle monolithic suppressor, I already told you guys so many times what that does. The barrel 26.9 inch HDR pro for damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. The tack laser, we want to get some ADS on our side and aim walking steadiness, which is nice to have and aiming stability. So this gun's really nice because it's a sniper. Aiming stability finally actually helps out. The stock is the F-Tac Stalker Scout. You lose some 
some aiming stability, which sucks, but you get ADS speed. And the perk is either going to be fully loaded or slight of hands. You guys can choose what you want. Trust me, this sniper class is insane. But guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, if we could go for 2,500 likes, that would be amazing. Smash the goal. Let me know a weapon that you think is underrated, but you love down in the comments below. And guys, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with those notifications turned on if you haven't done so yet. We're so close to 625,000. So if we could do that, that would be amazing. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!